Hi everyone, Katie here. Welcome back to another layout video. Today I have some more pictures from our trip to Peru. Um, we are starting to get toward the end of them. These are from Machu Picchu. Uh, we were able to go there very, very early in the morning and we were almost extremely disappointed because there was so much fog. Um, but that's a normal thing uh, early in the morning and we waited, we were able to you know, see everything after, you know, we just took some time to wait for the fog to clear. And while we were doing that, we saw so many llamas. Um, just like, I guess, a herd of llamas that live up there at Machu Picchu. And it was the coolest thing. Um, so I've got some really cool llama pictures on the terraces. And there's a lot of fog, but you can see some of the mountains nearby. It's just, it's cool. And I have five pictures, and none of them... Uh, you know, were great to cut down. So I um, decided that this needed to be a double page layout. So I have these two pieces of paper from My Mind's Eye. You may have seen them before because I bought them as like a 20 or 25 pack um, from Tuesday morning. So they are from the Hey Mister collection and they are called Geo G. Um, and on one side they've got foiled little triangles and then on the other is just this, um, you know, lined paper. And I thought that was most appropriate to build on top of. I thought it would make my layout look nice. So I have this, um, textured blue cardstock that I put, you know, right in the middle, separate it, um, down... The middle so that I can have half on either side. I think this really stands out nicely or coordinates nicely with the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane collection. I only have, in terms of paper, I only have the 6x8 pad from Paige Evans Bungalow Lane, um, but I think that really works out very nicely. Um, and I'm able to do a lot with it. So I chose three pages from that collection. Um, one is foiled and two are not. I tear the edges a little bit um, to just kind of give it some interest, make it stand out a little bit against the kind of craft paper, you know, brown cardstock. And then with the foiled one, since it's more in the middle, um, I decide to distress the edges all around just to give it... Um, Again, a little more interest, differentiate it a little bit from the background, give some texture to my layout, um, and then also just, you know, add a little, little something else that's a little different from just the one torn edge of the other two pages. So I like how this turns out. Edge distressing, I find, does take a while if you don't want to, you know, rip the paper. I've definitely done that many times. And I've got a cute little um, flowery distressing tool that I use. So I get all that on there and stick it down. Now this is over the two pages so I know I need to slice them in half you know once I'm ready. But I decide I need to add a little washi to the top and bottom in order to um, I guess really have these layouts or I guess one layout, the one layout be cohesive. So this one washi, it's like a cream color with a gold foiled pattern. I believe it is from crepe paper. Uh, it's one, one of the many things I've gotten in uh, grab bags recently. And then I pair that with um, this blue, to me it looks like mountains, blue and gold foil, like little mountain, um, scene but I'm I mean it could just be kind of you know a, a random pattern and I believe that one came from Hobby Lobby paper studio perhaps um so I get those down and now I'm ready to slice and let me tell you this slicing does not go very well I have um recycled one of my blades on my paper trimmer which you know you may or may not want to do you know kind of resharpening and then reusing and it has worked out so far for me but because this layout is pretty thick uh, with paper I've got let's see one two three or even four layers of paper of you know pretty heavy cardstock in some areas not to mention the um, adhesive and stuff so it didn't 
didn't slice through as well as I had hoped. I had to use my scissors, but you know what? It worked out. And um, especially being in an album, you know, a three ring binder style album, you're never going to be able to tell that it's not perfect. So that's fine. It happens. I'm going ahead and arranging my photos um, where I want them on the page, but I'm not, you know, gluing anything down quite yet. That big open pink space I wanted to use as my journaling space or my title space. I hadn't quite decided um, what I wanted to use it for. I knew I wanted my layout to be titled Llamas of Machu Picchu, and I wanted to use my alphabet die set to do that. So I get another piece of the Paige Evans Bungalow Lane 6x8, and I start cutting out my words, and you can see I don't make you watch all that. I have llamas of in die cut letters, and then Machu Picchu in some nice little tile stickers. These are from Damask Love. They were for journaling, or I'm sorry, they were for planners, but, um, you know, I think they work really quite perfectly for scrapbooking as well. And then because I was able to fit my title over there on the left, I make the right side, that big open pink space, my journaling box. And I really like that because that pink paper, um, first of all, I just really like it. I don't know, I was, when I was using it, I was like, man, I need to get the 12 by 12 in this. But also, I like the little lines. They're kind of wavy. They're not perfect. But it just, you know, felt like a logical journaling spot for me. And, you know, I just talk a little bit about what... Um, we were doing, you know, we were up on the, like, mountain, I suppose, up that is right above um, the city of Machu Picchu, um, looking down. However, it was extremely foggy, so we could not see anything yet. Um, we do get to see Machu Picchu later, but we did get to see all the llamas, which was really cool. I just never expected to see them, even though it was, you know, completely natural for them to be there. It's just, you know, one of those things you learn when you travel. So now I'm getting out my bungalow lane um, ephemera. I have the words and phrases and the uh, like floral ephemera for um, this collection. So I'm just taking out some pieces, scattering them around, seeing what I like, changing things up. I end up using a lot of flowers on this layout. Um, the big flower camera, that's one I've been, you know, waiting to use, but I thought, oh my goodness, of course this is appropriate, because these were definitely things that were worth, um, picturing, you know, taking pictures of. One thing that I really like is the tag, that blue tag over there, it says peaceful day. It's like, yes, that absolutely was. So, um, peaceful and so appropriate. And then the other tag that I use, I actually put it on top of my picture here. You can see I'm gluing it down now. It says thankful. Um, and I think that is super appropriate because we were so thankful to, you know, even be able to go. We were supposed to go in 2020. Obviously, that didn't work out. We ended up going in 2021. And, man, it really was the trip of a lifetime. Really fantastic. So I'm getting all these things down, trying to... perfect layout for some of the larger elements in my opinion because really on a double page layout I only have five pictures which I know saying only is like still a lot but I just feel like there's a lot of open space there's a lot of room to embellish I would say is probably a better way of putting it and I make full use of that by using the large camera um, a couple large flowers and even this little, the thing I'm messing with now, I guess, the little sprig of something, I'm not exactly sure what you call that. I'm popping that up, you know, using uh, up my supplies, which is fun and sad at the same time, <laughs> as I think we all know. But I'm happy uh, to be able to use it, and man, I just think it looks so pretty. So, uh, you know, it's a win-win situation there. Now, I've got all of my ephemera bits on here, 
but I also have the Bungalow Lane sticker book and the puffy sticker. So I definitely have to figure out a way to get a few of those on here. And I ultimately decide on a few of the word phrases. And um, so the ones I choose are finding joy, beautiful, be kind, this here, love this, darling, remember this. And I just make, you know, a little word cluster over there in that kind of open space over to the right. Um, I've got so many more on this sticker book that I need to use, but you know, it didn't work out for this layout. I, that's okay. I do end up finishing up one page of my puffy stickers that look like little buttons, just sprinkling it, those around. And um, that will be actually the last. Oh, no, it won't. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about my brads. So I add just two brads, one in each of the little tag holes and one on Peaceful Day. It's kind of like a pearly white brad that I add in... Um, that little tag and then in the one that says thankful I use like a pearly pink tag I'm sorry pearly pink brad in the tag and um, I just use a little push pin to create the hole and then um, on the back I use a little washi tape so that it doesn't snag on anything so that will complete my layout thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye